Good morning, good afternoon, and good freaking evening. Tina's in the game with your boy. It's Chris. You press play on a D25 fat burner workout. So I want to welcome you to your daily sweat. Uh, full body calories will be burnt. Yeah. Melted off your body, but we're going to gain some strength today. You don't need anything, just your body weight, some determination. Hope you're ready for some motivation and empowerment. Tina, let's get some jumping jacks. Three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds of jumping jacks. Uh, look, man, I, I wish I had some fancy words to say today. I just want to tell you that I love you. And anytime I start a workout by saying that, it, we're going to get it in. All right. Let's get some high knees. Three, two, one, and go. Getting those knees up. Today, man, I'm hoping, I'm praying, whether you're doing this in the morning, afternoon, or evening, that I'm praying that this be the thing that, like, empowers you to run through a brick wall. You know, this is the thing that I want you to be encouraged about because you're a beast. Three, two, one. Quick feet for 10 seconds. <sighs> Some of y'all like running. I don't want to run through a wall. You, you get it. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. Um, let's start with some high knee pulls. If you've never seen these before, bringing that knee to your chest. Ha ha pull. You want to pull that hamstring. Open up some hip flexor groin area as much as possible. Uh, with today's movements, guys, I really want you to focus on giving your best. I'm, I'm not concerned about how fast you go. I just want your best. And I, I promise if you give your best, it's going to be a burner. And you're going to get a lot of calories burned, but also more importantly, body fat uh, burned as well, but putting on muscle. All right, Tina, three, two, one, relax. Let's go into some quad pulls, bringing that heel to your butt. Give them a lateral review so they can see. Yep, perfect. So, um, like, I want you to think today, like, I cannot be stopped. I want you to think today that you're more than a conqueror. I want you to think today, like, you're, you're, you're in straight beast mode. You're the lion, not the gazelle. Like, I want you to really get after it today. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, let's go into that reverse Spider-Man, putting that back knee on the ground, like a lunge position, guys. I just want you to lean in with your hips. Some people like to try to put both palms on the ground or maybe the inside elbow on the ground. Up to you, but I just want you to lean in, take that huge, big, deep breath, and every time you exhale, try to sink in even lower with your hips sinking towards the ground. Today we have uh, Tina and Tabata. So, uh, yeah, I think that's one of her favorites. Potentially she said yes. Good. All right, relax. Let's go ahead and switch. Come out of it slowly. Same thing on the opposite side. Leaning in with your hips. 10 second hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Good. Three, two, and everybody relax. We'll roll over, lay on the ground. This is still part of your warm-up, it's not a workout. We're gonna do floor bridges, Tina lay flat on our back, feet on the ground, hips up and down in three, two, one, and go. If you want a booty up top, I want you to squeeze your booty. All right, wanna really warm up that hamstring, warm up that glute, because we're gonna use those huge, big, strong, beautiful muscle groups today. In five seconds, I want you to continue to do the same movement, but I want you to lengthen your right leg in three, two, one. So now we're doing single leg floor bridges, good. So this one's gonna really isolate that hamstring and glute. Good, five, four, in three seconds, we're gonna switch legs. Two, one, just switch, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, both feet on the ground. Now I just want you to hold it up for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Good job, guys. Go ahead and stand on up to your feet. I want you to do five squats with your boy, but I want you to hold it every time in a down position in three, two, one, and just hold it. Four, three, two, and up. Back down, hold it. I want you to imagine Tina sinking back on those heels, chest is up, three. I'm not gonna drop you two, one, and power up. Back down. So this is a good thing you can utilize, guys. Uh, typically, if we're not getting as low as we want, up. It's because our hip flexors are real tight, back down. So if you have like a pole table chair that you can trust, right? That's the key. You gotta trust, you gotta, you gotta trust them. Up, last one. And I'm gonna give her by herself. There you go. Four, three, look good. Two, one, and relax. All right, guys, stay loose. I wanna talk a little bit about today's workout. So you stretch your shoulders out, your ankles, whatever you wanna stretch. We have four movements today. Movement number one will be a standard crunch. And I'm gonna show you form in a little bit, but in 30 seconds, you wanna get, get as many good solid crunches as you can. 
After your 30 seconds finish, you're going to get a 10-second break, and we're back to those lateral slides. Take them back to my basketball glory days. Slide into your left, slide into your right. It doesn't matter how much space you have at your crib, backyard, garage. Use what you have. Now, if you're at a football field, don't do 100 yards. Limit it, <laughs> limit it to a shorter space. But you have your 10 crunches. Then you're going to go, excuse me, you have your 30-second crunches, 10-second break. Then you have your lateral slides for 30 seconds with a 10-second break. Your third movement is going to be right into another conditioning sprints front sprints turn around front sprints we'll show you how that'll look 30 seconds in 10 second break and then the fourth and final movement Ooh we full body burpees all right what i mean by full body burpees chest stomach thighs hit the ground and even if the phone ring you gotta silence the phone i'm getting my daily sweat all right but let's show you what form looks like so she lays back on the ground um with your crunches okay i'm not looking for you to slang your body all up knees are bent feet on the ground some people like to place a hand across the chest some people like to go behind their head all she's going to do is take her head and shoulders off the ground two to three inches and go right back down that's it good so do like five more on this one the thing that i'm looking for is your shoulders and head come off the ground but blowing that air out every time you come up <sighs> inhale keeping that stomach nice and tight good Tina so once your 30 seconds of crunches are finished she would get up to her feet she would get to one side I will go back to the plyo box Tina so quarter squat and then she slides to me in this area let's see yeah about to me and then she goes back and she will repeat this continuously for 30 seconds after a 10 second break she will run towards me pivot go back the other direction and continue this for 30 seconds and then the fourth and final movement, and I'm going to only ask her to do this two times, okay, is a, is a burpee. The first burpees are standard one. She jumps vertically up, allows her palms to hit the ground, stomach, chest, thighs, everything hit the ground. She comes up the same way, knows her hips are down when she jumps in, and then she goes straight to the sky. That's one. Modified way is when you stand up tall, she goes down to a squat position. Uh-huh. She puts your hands on the ground. She walks her leg out. She walks her other leg out, lay on the ground. Then she comes up. Walk her leg up, walk her leg up, and then stand tall. Either option, I promise, it's going to work. It's not about being advanced or not. Just do the burpee, all right? So, Tabata style, you got any questions, Tina? No? Nope. Turn your music up because we're about to jump right into it. Today, again, we have four Tabatas. Um, we're going to repeat this a total of how many times do you think? How many times? Four at least. Uh, did, did I say it already? I did set the time, but how many times you, are we going to repeat the four rounds, four exercises? At least four. I didn't say it. I just said we're arguing on camera. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> we're going to do these four exercises for a total of six rounds, okay? Um, the one thing that I didn't uh, uh, mention is after the fourth and final round, it's not a 10-second break. You get a one-minute recovery. So we're going to hit it hard. Uh, give me a fist pump real quick. Boop. Give Tina a fist pump. Tina, give him a fist pump. There you go. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Crunches, baby. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. All right. Not too hot, Tina. So on these guys, just remember, chest your head, chest your shoulders. And this is not as many reps as you can. I want you to think sustainable speed. Good tempo. Keeping that stomach nice and tight. Taking those head and shoulders off the ground every single time. Crunching, blowing that air out. I like for the camera to count down. I mean the clock to count down. So right now, clock says you have seven seconds left. So the, the breaks in between is really not break. It really means get your butt to the next spot, okay? And relax. All right, Tina has 10 seconds to get to the next spot. So get to the other side of the living room, garage, whatever you're running to. We're doing lateral slides in a quarter squat position. Three, two, one, and let's get after it. All right, right there's good. Boop, good, good. If you go off the camera a little bit, they okay with it as long as you, they just don't want you short, shorten it. If you took two steps to the right, they're gonna be like, nah, Chris, I know it's your wife, but she can't be doing only two steps. So nah, you look good. All right, so everybody right now, man, you're, you're my zone for those that are wearing it. Uh, starting off in your first two rounds, you're gonna be in the blue, maybe some of y'all in the green, but as this continues to go, baby, we're in the yellow and red for the majority of the workout because we're gonna really get after it in this D25. All right, relax. All right, you can walk it to the other side of the room, whatever you want to do, but this one's a short sprint. It can be only three steps. I don't care. But intensity, three, two, one, and go. If you're on the fifth floor of your high rise or wherever you're at, guys, uh, it can be like Tina's not like eh, 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 like Flintstones, like, like soft running if you need to. But if all fails, just stationary, walk in place if we're uh, on top of somebody. All right, Tina, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. 
Tina's at the yellow zone right now with 12 seconds left in this uh, first segment of the first round. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. All right, everybody relax. Everybody's favorite part is starting. We have burpees next, okay? So control tempo. It's not about speed. Control tempo, okay? 3, 2, 1, and go. All right, good. Tight stomach. So really important as Tina continue to work, I want you guys to make sure you hear me even when you're doing your burpees. When you're coming up from your burpees, make sure your hips are down low so you're not rounding your back, okay? So come up from that burpee, hips nice and low so you can use your legs to stand tall and jump up versus using your back, okay? Everybody have six seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and booyah. Relax, good job, Tina. Everybody, great job, baby. One round down. We have a total of five more to go. If you need to get a sip of water like Tina, that's cool. Just make sure you continue to press play. Don't press that stop button. Now, the thing that I want to kind of remind you on that burpee was what I was uh, mentioning. When she goes down or when you go down from your burpee, when you come up, don't get fatigued and start bringing your butt high and then rolling your back. Really important when you're going down into that burpee position. Notice how low my butt is when I come down. I'm here and then I can't use my back, but I'm using my legs and boots. So, huh? Use it rather than just like this. But sometimes when you fatigue, you don't see that, right? So that's why you guys have me as your trainer or any other day you sweat coaches because we're watching that. We want to help that sexiness resume, all right? All right, time does go by fast when you have fun. We have three seconds left for round two until we get started. Three, two, one, and go. All right, Tina's crunching it out, making it work. She's doing the one where her hands are behind her head. Just two to three, and you ain't got to yank it off the ground. Just right there, boom, that's it. As long as you keep your stomach tight the whole time. Tight, blowing the air out. Keeping that stomach engaged. It works. You don't got to do no roundabout, land on your pinky toe to do a, a sit up to get abs, right? Just crunch tight stomach, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, good. Tina's already in the blue zone. And when you're on the blue zone, you get to lay down. That means you're really getting after it because she's going to be in the yellow and red on this zone. Three, two, one, and let's go, guys. All right, here we go. Slide it out, slide it out, slide it out. Let's get it. Everybody, Tina's probably having about a 12, maybe 15 feet radius. She should get at least six down and back. Oh, excuse me, six left, right, three, four, five, six. So kind of set a, a pace for you every single round. It may be four. Uh, down and backs, maybe two down and backs, maybe 12 down and backs, whatever that number is for you. Let's get after it. But everybody has three seconds left. Two, one, and relax. All right, stay on your feet, walk it out, do what you need to do. But we have sprints next, okay? Get into that other side of the room as fast as you can in three, two, one, and let's go. All right, she's there, she pivots and go. Good. She's there, she pivots and go. Good, 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 good. All right, clock says you have a total of 20 seconds left. Tina right now just hit the red zone. She's getting it in. You're getting it in. Everybody keep pushing, keep grinding. Come on, 13 seconds left. 11, 10, I know, nine. It's what we do though. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and booyah. Come on guys, you got it. You and Tina's getting it in, your pace buddy. Tina's probably averaging, I'm guessing, about five burpees in 30 seconds. Let's see, three, two, one, and go. Just a reminder, hips down when you come up from that burpee because I want you to use them legs and not your back. Good. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, Tina's already finishing up her second rep in 30 seconds. Come on, ladies and gents. You got that one-minute break waiting on you. Come on, come on, come on. You don't got to wait. You can get it in now. You don't got to wait till tomorrow. You're doing it now. You don't got to wait till 2027. You're doing it now. We got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Ooh, wee, goodness. Two, four to go. I commend you though, baby. You're getting it, all right? All right, Tina, if you were to tell my friends, a suggestion what would it be what what what's something that you're doing to get you through these four movements so she says she's trying to pace herself and breathe all right which one's tougher than the other or which one's the easiest for you the burpees is the easiest oh it's the hardest 
you got a point. Maybe the person that made the workout did that for a reason. What's the easiest one? The crunches. All right, maybe I made it like from the easiest exercise to the beginning to make it the most difficult exercise at the end. All right, enough of the education piece. It's time to get back on the floor because we got crunches. We got seven seconds. I'm extremely proud. Let's get after it in four, three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna coach you through this, guys. Remember, just your head and shoulders coming off the ground, just two to three inches. Please don't be coming up doing a full sit up, or please don't be yanking half your body up. I want you to be able to control it two to three inches up, but also control it two to three inches down. Not just flopping your body weight up and then falling to the ground. Remember, control is true strength, all right? Tina's in the blue zone, getting it in at 66% of her max effort. Ladies and gentlemen, you have five, four, three, two, one, and booyah. All right, transition time, okay? This is not a rest time, it's a transition time. We have lateral slides in five, four, three, two, one, quarter inch high, and let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, here we go. We're sliding those feet, getting that heart rate up, keeping that chest proud, tight stomach. As Tina says, she focuses on her breathing, doing one step, one rep at a time. That's all I can ask for. That's all you can provide, and I'm good with it, but I want to encourage you to let you know that you can do this for the next 10 nine come on eight seven you got it six five seconds four three two one and boom relax all right next one is sprint stay on your feet whether you're walking to the next spot or you just stand still dead in the middle i'm good with it we got sprints three two one and let's go all right team is your pace buddy i'm gonna count out her sprint test one good two she's in the yellow zone at 88 percent three come on four breathe breathe guys five use those arms keep moving six she has seven sprints with 12 seconds to go eight she's like she's gonna get about 11 or 12 this is 10 11 and 12 relax all right here we go here we go this is that go getter time okay we have burpees in four three two one and let's go all right butt down when you come up whether you're walking or jumping it out i don't care okay as i said at the beginning we're just doing burpees i didn't say the most extreme person has to do a burpee like this or if you just started it no i just want you to be able to get up and i want you to be able to get down with good form everybody has 13 seconds left tina's on her third burpee i'm super proud of every single one of you earning every drip of sweat today clock says you have five four three two one and relax Woo! she don't yell but i yelled for her. all right um i would try to give you a fist pump but you probably would diss it because you're mad at me but no that is out of love um clock says you have 45 seconds so i want you to disconnect for a little bit recover you have completed three rounds we only have three more rounds to go and then you're gonna go and conquer the rest of your day. You're gonna go to work or you're gonna go to school, do what you do, or maybe you're doing this in the evening and this is gonna help you get into bed after you take a shower. Cause don't get into bed without taking a shower, all right? You hear me? Like, uh, uh that's dirty. All right, so <laughs> let's get ready to rumble. Clock starts in 15 seconds. We're back on the ground with those crunches. You're doing an incredible job with today's Tabata workout. Let's get ready. Let's start on time, which is in five seconds. Come on. Four. We're crunching. Three. Just your head and shoulders. Two, one, and go. All right. Squeeze that stomach really tight, okay? Every time you come up, blow that air out. Every single time is really, really important, okay? You guys are really conquering today's workout. We're in the fourth round out of six. Seems like it's going fast when you're watching. Is it going fast when you're doing it? She said no. 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 All right, here we go. Clock says you have five seconds left. Keep it up, guys. Four, three, two, one, and beautiful job, my people. All right, let's get to that next spot. And again, it's just lateral slide, so you can almost stand up and either go to your right or left. You don't have to start a specific spot every single time. The team is off, and she's running. Clock says she has 25 seconds left into this portion of today's Tabata workout. Hey, in the green zone, at your own time, you're working out where you want to work out. I mean, life is good, right? Here we go. Clock says you have a total of 10 seconds left. Come on, man. Don't stop. 
even if you're walking, I'm good with it. Just keep moving. You got this. You a beast. Remember, you're a conqueror. Remember, here we go. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, you can chill at the spot that you're at. You can walk to the other side of the room, but we have sprints left, okay? Last time, Tina had 12, so I want Tina to get 12 again. Three, two, one, and go. 12 is the minimum number. You may get more than 12, but at least 12. This is two. Good. Three. Beautiful. Four. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Five. Six with 15 seconds. Seven. Come on, guys. Come on, finish strong. Eight. Nine. Ten with six seconds. Eleven. Three. Twelve. And everybody relax. All right. <laughs> you know what's next. I'm going to just count you down because I don't want to say the word. Three, two, one, and let's go. All right, here we go. Vertically up, tight stomach on that kick out. Whether you're walking out or jumping out, I'm good with it. Come on, my people. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. During this 30-second Tabata, everybody should be able to push out at least three reps, okay? At least three. Clock says you have 15 seconds to get better. You got 15 seconds to get stronger. Tina right now is in the red zone, which means she's giving me all that she has. Come on, ladies and gents. Make her not be the only person giving me all that you have. Clock says you have three, two, one, and relax. Eyes tight. Eyes tight. Eyes tight. <laughs> all right. Great job, all right? Mindset right now. You have completed a total of four rounds, which means you only have two more rounds to go. This is where you have to have that conversation to, with yourself. My dad always says, talking to yourself is not crazy as long as you're having an intelligent conversation. So what's intelligent right now? Telling yourself you're doing it, and you're doing a great job. You're doing a great work. Nothing can stop you. I'm proud of you. You're stronger than you were yesterday. Whatever positive affirmation you can use right now, I encourage you to use it. And whether you're in the living room, garage, or the backyard or park by yourself, it's okay if you're alone. Like, tell yourself that you speak it, that you hear it, all right? Here we go, Tina. We got crunches. Everybody, come on. We got five seconds left. Get to that ground. Four. Just head and shoulders. Three, two, one, and we're crunching away. Head and shoulders is off the ground. I'm going to do a little shout out real quick on Instagram for you guys. See how this goes. Last time I did this, I got tongue tied on camera and y'all laughing at me. What's up, Daily Sweat fam? Right now, I'm literally on camera. Like, I'm so proud. Tina's in the game, doing crunches right now in the first portion of today's Tabata workout. But shout out to everybody who did today's workout. Let me know what you think. Yeah. All right, three, two, one, and relax. I didn't get tongue tied that time. I did good, guys. Y'all should be proud of me. All right, here we go. Lateral slide. Heart rate came down. It's time to get it back up. Three, two, one, and go. All right, here we go. We're sliding it out. Good, good, good. Keep a good, sustainable tempo, okay? I, I don't care about you going 100 miles per hour. I just want you to be able to go for 30 seconds, all right? Think about it. Just in life, we want to be able to extend a certain amount of force or effort for a period amount of time. Nobody wants to just go up one step. You want to be able to walk up all the flights of steps to get to your destination. And that's what life's about, baby. So give me three, give me two, give me one, and relax. Good job, Tina. All right, everybody, we have those sprints left, okay? Clock starts in five seconds. Get to that number that you've been getting to every round. Three, two, one, big strides. Let's go. Let's get to the other side of the room. Good. Turn and pivot. Turn and pivot. Every single time, know that you, every step you get to, every single rep you complete today, you're getting closer to the destination that you deserve. Or maybe you need to keep that sexiness. You love where you're at. You love where you, your mindset and your confidence and your self-esteem that if that's where you're at, let's work to stay there. But maybe you're working to become better. Maybe you're working to become stronger. I'm good with that. And I want you to also know that you're not alone. Clock says you only have three, two, one, and relax. Oh, it's time. Oh, it's time, baby. Here we go. Come on. Bring your A game. Clock starts in three, two, one, and let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Tina's rocking it out right now. Clock says you have 24 more seconds left in the clock. Come on. Let's get it. Let's grind it out. Look good. Feel good. Notice she's doing a great job keeping her hips down the whole time. 15 seconds. Good. Tight stomach. Never holding a soft stomach, always keeping that tight stomach. She's in the red. You're probably in the red. Everybody has five seconds, which means you have one burpee left. Three, two, one, and perfecto. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. All right. One round have been completed. Excuse me. Five rounds. Five rounds. I do not want to get shot. Five rounds have been completed, which means we only have one more round to go. Tina, what are you telling yourself during the burpees? Do you talk to yourself or you just you just zone out? She, she just she don't even talk, y'all. She just like, um, I just work out. I just I eat food. I just wake up in the morning. So what I would want to encourage you guys is when you feel like you can't go, do one more rep. If you can do that, guys, I promise you're gonna finish today's workout. And with that being said, you have 15 seconds, so let's go ahead and get to the ground. Let's get ready to be locked and loaded to finish today's workout strong. All right, here we go. Clock says you have seven seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. All right, remember, just your head and shoulders off the ground. I'm guessing every 30 seconds, you're probably completing 10 to 15 reps. Think about it. If you've done 10 reps in six rounds, you had at least completed 60 crunches in a matter of 25 minutes, right? Which is incredible, all right? So keep up the, uh, the pace. I'm not gonna try to multiply 13 by six or anything else, so don't try me. But clock says you have five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and let's get on up. All right, we're on our feet. Last time doing that on slides, okay? Again, quarter inch, uh, quarter stance, I don't mean inch, quarter stance of your squat. Three, two, one, and go. Making sure your chest is up and proud and you're just getting after. Tina's in the green zone. She has a lot of effort points for a 25 minute uh, workout, which means she's, she's working, she's digging, she's grinding, she's pushing. And I know she's not alone. I know you're getting the same sweat she's getting in. Not the, they're not sharing the same sweat but you, you're earning the same intensity. Did I get that? That was kind of weird. But clock says you have three, two, one, and relax. All right, here we go. Last time doing sprints. This is it. This is it. You don't have to hold nothing in, all right? You ready? Clock says you have five. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Stronger and better. Stronger and better every time. Stronger and better every single time. Clock says you have a total of 20 seconds left in the last time doing sprints today. Keep it up, keep it up. 15 seconds, come on. Give me what you have right here, right now. Right here, right now. You don't have to reserve any energy. Come on, right here, right now. Come on, clock says you have seven seconds left. Here we go, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and perfecto. Ah, this is it. Last time. Burpees, Tina, give me at least five, three, two, one, and let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Everybody make this your best number. Tina's best number has been five, okay? Come on, up, 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 let's go. One, good. Tight stomach, kick out. Good, up, 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 good. Two, come on, come on, come on. Out, out, good, up, 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 come on. Everybody, come on, we're halfway. Three, three, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 bounce up. Four, come on, come on, come on, you got time, you got time. Good, good, five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo, woo. Fat burner, lay on the ground, do whatever you need to do to recover. I am extremely proud of you. Uh, Tino, awesome job. Killed the game, got it after it, but let's take some time to stretch, just to kind of cool down, stretch a little bit. Uh, Tina, sip on some water. <coughs> Excuse me, oh, my man voice. Uh, sip on some water. Once you sip on some water, I just want you to go. I want to do a dynamic stretch. I want you to do a lateral lunge. So lateral lunge to the left, lateral lunge to the right. All right, guys. So once Tina start these lateral lunges, it's just a cool down. Good. D hold it for a second or two. Then she brings both feet in. Then do the same thing on the opposite side. Good. Just do another 10 seconds. Jump in when you're ready. Uh, if you need a little bit more, you're like, Chris, look, you made me do that fifth burpee. Take your time, baby. I get it. Here we go. Three two, one, and relax. Let's go into that squat position. Try your best to push out with your elbows, guys, if you have the flexibility. Um, Tina, go ahead. It says, go ahead. No, you're good. You're good. It's just fatigue. Put your hands on the ground. Good. And then walk your feet in a little bit and then push out your elbows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. She was kind of doing a wall sit. I was trying to look out for her. All right. Eight, seven, six, five. We're going to do two more stretches on the ground. Three, two one and have a seat on the ground um 
Uh, face the camera for me, if you can, please. Uh, once she faces the camera, we're gonna bring our right knee to our chest. We just only, only hold it for three seconds. So she brings it in, right knee to your chest, three, two, then she crosses that same leg over her body, keeping those shoulders on the ground for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, super proud. Six, five, four, three, two, switch to the opposite side. We're gonna bring that knee to our chest for three seconds. Three, two, cross it over. Let's hold it for 10 seconds. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, anything else you wanna stretch out? Good. Hey man, look, incredible freaking job today. Again, um, just proud to be honest. And for those that joined us for the very first time, welcome to the Daily Sweat community. Incredible group of people. If you haven't already, take a screenshot right now, Tina and me. Like, I don't know. Okay, three seconds. How are we gonna pose? How you gonna, we gotta take a screenshot. They're gonna take a picture. What you gonna do? The deuces. All right, you ready? She gonna do her deuces, I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna do my signature pose. You ready? Three, you gotta get ready for the screenshot. Three, two. All right, perfect. So screenshot that. Tag us on Instagram, the Daily Sweat underscore 365. Let us know what you thought of the workout. Tina, thanks for being an amazing pace buddy. Love you guys. Remember, consistency is everything. So you got to show up tomorrow to get your sweat. Take care.